The last stanza of the old Christmas hymn, the first Noel, says this. Sing praises to our heavenly Lord that hath made heaven and earth of naught, and with his blood mankind hath bought. Historic Christianity, whether it be Catholic, Protestant, or Orthodox, has celebrated Christmas as the birth of Emmanuel, God with us, the creator of literally everything outside his own being. This creator was eternally begotten Son of God. He was the only begotten God, as John 1 says. Hence, there was never a time when he wasn't son of the Father. 2,000 years ago, though, he was born of the Virgin Mary and conceived of the Holy Ghost, just as Matthew 1 and Luke 2 clearly teach. Mormonism has devalued Christ. It has devalued Christmas in three ways. Number one, Mormonism denies that Christ is literally the creator of everything outside himself. Since he worked with pre-existent and eternal matter to form our world. See, in Mormonism, Christ is the first begotten, first one born of heavenly parents in a pre-earth life. So obviously, he didn't create everything that was around prior to him being born. Okay. Now, secondly, Mormonism denies that Christ was literally always the Son of God. Why? Well, again, Mormon, Mormonism teaches that Jesus was born of heavenly parents in a pre-earth life, and before that, he eternally existed as an intelligence. So before his birth, he was not a child of the Heavenly Father. Three, Mormonism teaches that Christ was literally and physically the Son of the Father, not only in the pre-earth life, but also 2,000 years ago through Mary. Mormons are at least open to the idea that the Heavenly Father had sex with his own spirit daughter to produce Jesus. Uh, most Mormons say they don't know if sex was involved or not and that the Holy Ghost could have been the doctor who performed something like artificial insemination. So he took the father's seed and implanted it into the virgin. But on the other hand, quite a few Mormon leaders have actually taught that Jesus was conceived sexually. These quotes are readily available by doing a quick internet search. We have some of them on our homepage of mormoninfo.org. These quotes start from Brigham Young, the second prophet and president of the Mormon Church. He said, quote, The Father came down and begat him the same as we do now, unquote. In another sermon, he said, quote, The birth of the Savior was as natural as the births of our children. It was the result of natural action. He partook of flesh and blood and was begotten of his father as we were of our fathers, unquote. Now keep in mind that Brigham Young taught in Journal of Discourses, volume 13, page 95, that since these were sermons, these were not speculations, these should be considered scripture, the very words of God. Now in conclusion, if you're, number one, if you're a typical Mormon watching this, you are not more authoritative than Brigham Young or the rest of your general authorities who have made these similar statements. Number two, if you think that Young or the other Mormon leaders who said these things are wrong about this uh, business, about the Father conceiving uh, Jesus uh, physically and literally with Mary, then you should regard 
the individuals that gave this to you as false prophets, false apostles, deceitful workers, tran uh, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ, as 2 Corinthians chapter 11 says. They are teaching a false devalued God and a false devalued Jesus. Third and finally, if you still think that you're leaders are speculating here and you're at least open to the idea of the father having sex with his own spirit daughter then you still need to repent of such a blasphemous belief system that keeps you open to something that clearly goes against what God has already revealed. Now thank you for watching this and uh, keep the true Christ in Christmas.